so high, I'm hypnotized What's up is down, what's left is right Hello everyone, welcome to another video for the engineer. So today I'm going to discuss on the fallback snapshot. So when I say fallback snapshot, this is primarily being used in your HANA database, uh, you know, to suppose you are doing any activity or you have any major activity that you are going to take care and uh, you want to roll back those changes. So before and before the any activity, you can also take a fallback snapshot. Let me tell you. Uh, uh, because if you will going to compare your internal database snapshot with your fallback snapshot both are quite different so you can explore by yourself what's the basic difference between both the snapshot methods so but generally whenever you're going to take a snapshot the fallback snapshot for HANA database that's only applicable for the tenant and you can keep only one fallback snapshot okay so that's the basic information explore things you can explore in case you are looking for more advanced concept or something on the snapshot and backup maybe some additional topics so you can connect with me or my team and you can also join the HANA administration training which is uh, starting soon okay so let me just quickly show you how you're going to take the fallback snapshot suppose you want to take a fallback snapshots from your uh, database so always you can switch to your SID ADM so this is my SID ADM here from there you can just connect to your SDB SQL because from there you can connect or else you can also take the snapshots from HANA Studio, whichever you may like. There is no such hard and fast rule. So this is I'm going to connect the system DB. So this is a user, and the password I'll be giving is welcome one two three. So that's how I connected to my database here. So if I want to take, sorry one second. Suppose I want to take the you know you can say the fallback snapshot. So <coughs> Can just type it's alter database and the database id is your it's v4 this is for the tenant and you can also type like create fallback snapshot okay so now you can see that this fallback snapshot is created let me show you if you have any snapshot in your database so ensure that the snapshot is deleted before you take a new fallback snapshot so even you can also take the fallback snapshot from your OS level, I mean from your HANA cockpit. So to log into the cockpit, I've already there in my cockpit database, I mean in my HANA cockpit. So here you can see you should log in the system database here and go to the database management. You will be seeing both the options here, system DB and tenant. Select the tenant one and from here you can go to the fallback snapshot. So you can just go and create a fallback snapshot here. You can see it is unable to create. Why? The reason is it's already created before. So always remember if you're already having a fallback snapshot, you cannot create another fallback snapshot. Fallback snapshots can be created only once. So what I'm going to do, I will be delete the fallback snapshot, which I've taken from the OS level, then I'll take it again. So now I'll go here in the Corona cockpit, create fallback snapshot. And this fallback snapshot will take some time to be created. Once it is created, yeah. So then you can do your task. In case you need to revert back your changes, in the tenant level so you can use the fallback snapshot but the snapshot as a whole snapshot as a recovery method is a different mechanism guys this is not to be uh, uh, you know the, you shouldn't consider it is same as the fallback snapshot fallback snapshot is mostly into the tenant level so that's how you can use the fallback snapshot to uh, even revert back the changes for the tenant database if you want to revert it back so you can just go here tenant actions okay so here you can So here uh, there is an option reset tenant to the fallback snapshot okay so you can do this option so this will be whatever the fallback snapshot you've taken so that data will be coming here into tenant whenever you take in the fallback snapshots so that's how you can go and uh, you know use it in your real time i hope it's still helpful because most of us are not having clarity on the backup and the snapshot and the fallback snapshots everything is different you shouldn't consider all the three are identical snapshot has its own function Fallback snapshot has its own function and backup is of course a very critical function for the HANA database. That's all for today and if you like my video please do subscribe and also follow us in our LinkedIn and also Instagram and also follow our WhatsApp page and all the details are there in the description itself. So thanks for watching the video guys in case you are looking for BTP training or you're looking for any HANA administration training, you can connect with my team. We are starting the batch soon. Most importantly, even for the interview preparation, since 
a lot of interviews are going on at this moment if you're looking to clear the interviews so feel free to join our interview session as well so we will be completing all the details in eight session and that would be quite helpful for your interview clearing clearing the interview as well okay so that's all thank you